Hello everyone, welcome to AKPC IT Tech. Today I am going to develop an IoT based home surveillance system with the help of SPD50W. Let's explore the components required to develop the system. One PR sensor, Raspberry Pi 0 W board and Raspberry Pi camera module. So if you want to know how to connect Raspberry Pi camera module with Raspberry Pi 0 W, please go through my previous video. The link will be available in the description box. It's time to explore the circuit diagram. In PA motion sensor, we have three pins. One for VCC, the mid pin for output and the third one for ground let's connect the raspberry pi 0 w with pir motion sensor the connect the vcc pin of pir motion sensor with 5 volt pin of raspberry pi 0 w the ground pin of raspberry pi 0 w connected with the ground pin of pir motion sensor next the data or output pin of pir motion sensor connected with the gpio 14 or its 8th number pin of Raspberry Pi 0 W. So this is the simple circuit connectivity we are going to use for this application. After completing the circuit, let's power on the Raspberry Pi 0 W. Now it's time to open the VNC remote desktop viewer to access the Raspberry Pi 0 W in headless mode. Now you can visualize the Raspberry Pi 0 W system. First, open a terminal. Next, we need to enable the camera option in Raspberry Pi 0 W. For that, I am going to use the command sudo raspi config. Next, go to the interface options. The first option is legacy camera. Let's select. Now, by default, the camera support is not activated. That's why the no option selected. Let's make it yes and hit enter. So, the camera support now enabled. Go to select, then finish and exit from the setup. Now, you need to restart the system to make it effective to develop the home surveillance system i am going to execute a python script this is the simple code i am going to execute for creating the system that's going to capture an image on the basis of motion detection first we need to import the library files one for gpio pins one for time and one for Pi camera module. Next, the PIR sensor setup. The GPIO pin 14 used for PIR data pin. Next, the camera setup. So here the resolution is 640 by 480 and the camera rotation 180. After camera setup, let's go to the capture function and here we are going to use the timestamp for creating the file name so that every time unique file name will be generated and there is no chance of overriding the previous file name next the logic to activate the system here we are using the motion sensor so whenever the motion is detected the PLL pin that's gpio 14 will be active and on the basis of GPIO pin 14, the system will activate the capture function and the Pi camera module will capture the image. So, this is the simple logic here I have deployed. So, the code is ready. It's time to execute. Now, the camera module is activated. So, you can visualize the LED light of the camera module. And here it is. So the motion detected, right? And yeah, it's working fine. Once again, I am placing my finger, the motion is detected. All the images 
stored in the test directory. Let's go to the desktop and then test. Okay, so lots of images captured by the system available in the test directory. Let's open one of them. Yes, it's done. Right now, you can visualize the images captured by the Pi camera module on the basis of motion detection. So, if you have any doubt, query, or confusion, please feel free to communicate with me through the comment section of the video. Thank you.